In the mighty name of Jesus, say, Can I Amen. Lord, Amen. Lord, I will not take away every eternal thing away from us, all yes, of from Lord, us. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, Father, King of Lord, glory, have your way. Take away spirit of carnality from us tonight, O God. Take away carnality from this God, Jesus. Father, let Amen. your power, your word, O Lord, let it come out with fire, with power tonight, O God. Your fire. Jesus, have your way, have your way, have your way, have your way, Lord. Have your way, Father. Have your way, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Amen. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. So we have come to the time to eat the, the Lord table, please. If your side is noisy, kindly unmute your side. And as you write with the teacher, pick up your barrel and your pen to invite the teacher, sir. Just is the host, sir. Praise Hello. the Lord, everyone. Hallelujah. Good evening, my beloved brothers and sisters. It's a privilege again to eat the Lord's Supper. Amen. To be a partaker of the table of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. It is a great privilege. It is not a right. We will not take it for granted oh, yes. because we don't want to be grounded in life. Yes, so we will not take God's privilege for granted mm. because we don't want to be stranded in this race. At all. Therefore, Elohim, we glorify your name again and again. Thank you, Jesus. For the awesome privilege you have given to us. Thank you, Father. We thank you for the work you have done. Yes, Lord. Like sharing your blood on the cross of Calvary thank for the redemption you. of our soul. Thank you, you Lord. You paid the price that we could not pay. Yes, Lord. Rescue our soul out of darkness Amen. into the kingdom of life. Mm -hmm. And you have breathed your spirit upon us. Yes, to live Lord. a holy and a righteous life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, we thank you. Thank we you, give Jesus. you glory, Father. Thank you, Lord. We are coming today to learn at your feet, Lord Jesus. Mm. Teach us by yourself. Amen. By your spirit, Father, teach us. Yes, Lord. Let the atmosphere be surrounded with your fire. Amen. Let the atmosphere be surrounded with your power. Amen. Oh, make our atmosphere a no-go area to the kingdom of darkness. I declare everyone's atmosphere is zoned as a threat to the kingdom of darkness. And every walls of darkness shall be exposed by fire. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Elohim, reveal yourself again to us by your word. Teach us your word, O oh Lord. Yes, Lord. As newborn baby in Christ, we should desire the sincere milk, the pure milk of the word of God, that we may grow deeper. Without your word, oh Lord, we cannot grow. At all. The natural child needs the sincere milk of the mother to grow physically. So yes, also Lord. as a spiritual child, my father, we need your spiritual Lord. meal to grow. Yes, Lord. Lord, as we eat the spiritual meat tonight, you increase us in spirit in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us kill it for the spirit given life. The yes. word that is about to comfort my father, mm. they are spirit and they are life. Amen. They are it is your word, it is not my word. At all. Because the word. Bring me your word again. Let the spirit behind your wall transform every life from destiny. Every year, let the sound of my voice. Let the spirit behind your wall change your life. Let the spirit behind your wall deliver them from that prison of fear and sin and death. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Give me utterance. Because I cannot, my all do nothing. You may do to my voice tonight. Let my eyes see you, oh Lord, my Father. 
Let my ear hear a word behind me to declare to your people in the name of Jesus. Amen. I empty myself, the Lord. Amen. I will not speak of my own. May you use me to deliver your word again tonight. Amen. Oh, Amen. I record the most high God in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Do not pass me by. Do not pass me by. Do not yes, let Lord. me be a castaway after doing your work. Yes, Lord, I myself will be disqualified. Help me to examine myself daily. Help me to discipline myself daily. Help me to put my body under suggestion. And I may not be disqualified after preaching to others to be saved. In the name of Jesus. Tonight, my Father. Satisfy the atmosphere with your fire, with your power, with your spirit, with Amen. your love. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Pass me not to gentle spirit. Yeah. Savior. Yeah. My humble cry. Why? His word with signs and wonder following my father again. I am preaching your word. May you confirm your word again with signs and wonder for the ears of Bela in the name of Jesus. The wonder Amen. that I need, oh Lord, is the wonders of salvation of soul. Let the soul be delivered from that bondage of fear, from that snare of death. From that prison of seas in the name of Jesus. Thank Amen. you again, Elohim. Amen. In your name forever be glorified. Amen. Show me your word, O oh Lord. Let the spirit of the fear of the Lord come upon everyone, O oh Lord, under the sound of Amen. my voice. The spirit of the fear of the Lord. The fear of you, O oh Lord, not the fear of men. Anyone that fear man but does not fear God cannot enter the kingdom of God. But if you fear God and you do not fear man, 
till we enter the kingdom of God. Lord, let the spirit of the fear of you come upon us. Amen. We may declare your word boldly to speak the truth at all times. To stand for the truth and live by the truth at all times, my Father. In the name of Jesus, that spirit Amen. of death that man has deposited has been concocted in the mind of the people, my Father. I rebuke that spirit now. Let that chain of fear be broken. Let that prison of fear be destroyed by fire. In the Amen. name of Jesus, anyone, oh Lord, that is under the prison of fear, my Father, let that prison be broken tonight. In the name of Jesus, Amen. the fear of your Lord, yes, Lord. come upon your children. In the name of Jesus, the Amen. fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. The fear of the Lord is what great level for the man to enter. Yes, my Father, let the fear of man be the snare. Every fear of man, and he was like, Oh Lord, I rebuke that spirit now. I decree the spirit of goodness. If it is secrecy that is causing that fear, oh night, my Father, by the blood of Jesus, let anyone under the sound of my voice be delivered from that secrecy in the name of Jesus Christ. Because it is written in your word. The righteous is as bold. A liar. Tonight, my father, I rebuke that spirit of God. Let the spirit of God to stand for truth, to declare the truth, to live by the truth at God's time. No matter what it is, on Korea, let it come. Upon anyone under the sound of my voice, in the name of Jesus, thank you, King of Glory. Father, Jesus, you open the seas of the world by your power, and you grant us access into your world. You give us revelations in your world, inside my Father, in your world, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' powerful name, we have received. Amen. Praise God. By God's grace, is a message that God gave. We have been laying foundation. We are still laying on the foundation, which is the foundation. No other foundation shall a man lay than the foundation which is Jesus Christ. That same foundation is what we are so built on. Only the foundation of Christ. Is not 40. The foundation of man can be 40 because man are subject to change. Only God do not change, no matter what it takes. Praise God. The mm. foundation we are building on the topic. Unless I work out my salvation in the fear of God. I will not escape the danger of hell fire. Unless you walk out your own salvation in the fear of God, not in the fear of man. Because when you fear man, you will still commit secret sin. But when you fear God, you don't commit secret sin because you know God's eyes seizes everything, both hidden and opening. His eyes is seeing it, not is hidden away from him. We work out our salvation in the fear of God, not in the fear of man. Then heaven becomes our portion at last. But when we try to work out our salvation in the fear of man, but you don't fear God, forget about heaven. It's like a mirage, a dream of the night that never come true. That is the message we are working on. Because the fear of God has departed from many churches. The fear of God has departed from the heart of men. That is why the atrocity in the world is growing greatly day by day. Churches is increasing day by day. Evil increases along day by day. Why is it so? Because men deviated from the fear of God and did not fear men rather than God. Acts 5, verse 29. He said, We would rather obey God than to obey man. So, by God's word tonight is the standard of everyone. 
not the words of man, but the word of God is the standard of man. The word of God is our manufacturer book. Like every accessory have a manufacturer book. So also you as a child of God, your manual is the word of the Lord, not the word of man. If any man says anything, that is not aligned with the word of God. Discard it, put it in the waste bin, brush it out. But when you swallow what must say, that is contrary against the word of God, it shows that you have no reverence for God. You fear man, but not God. And you cannot enter heaven by so doing. Bless you, repent. The case of the three Hebrew breasts, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The king made a decree that when you hear the trumpet, when you hear the sound of the truth, you have to bow down to the image, my man. You have to bow down to another God. The day you start bowing down to man, you have missed the track of heaven. You have missed another way of not walking the broad way. Don't worship any man. But rather worship your maker that created you, that is able to keep your flesh, your soul, and pass it to hell. Him alone shall you worship. That is what Jesus said to Lucifer. The Satan, God behind me. Why will you tell me to bow down and worship you that you give me the glory of the world? I don't need it. Only God alone will I worship. Today you start buying that to worship man. Forget the man. You will give account when the time comes. Ignorance will never be excused on that day. My people are perished for lack of knowledge. My people have gone into captivity. For lack of knowledge. Whether you know it, you did not know it, so long you did not follow the standard of God's word. In that day, you will give a car. You will give it by all means, whether you like it or not. So, by God's grace, we have looked into working out our salvation, the fear of God. And also, we also look at what the benefits, what will be my gain if I work out my salvation, the fear of God. And today, we are still continuing from where we stop. We'll be looking at the proof to know that I fear God. Is it by man's proclamation or by man's profession? Is it by saying it with the mouth, with my lips? How do I really know if I fear God? What are the proof? What are the evidence? What are the results? I fear God, I fear God. Is it by mouth? What are the evidence? So that we don't miss heaven. Thinking that I fear God at the end. Jesus will say, go away from me. You never fear me one day, but you fear me. Because if you don't know, we we'll continue to work in that ignorance. But thank God for this opportunity that you have brought to our way. Let us know the truth. It's the only truth that will set you free. Jesus said in John 8, verse 32, in verse 31, he said to the Pharisees and the Sadducees that believe in his message, he said, if you continue in my word, Jesus, your Savior, speaking, if you continue in my word, in other words, you continue to obey my word, not obeying the voice of man that is contrary to the world. If you continue to obey my word, then are ye my disciples. Verse 32. And ye shall know the truth. And the truth will make you free, will set you free from danger of every. Number one thing is to know the truth. Another thing is to obey the truth. To stand for truth. To live by the truth. Not knowing the truth and denying the truth. The day you start lying, not deny your faith. Forget about heaven, heaven, heaven. Because the man 
and we judge you as a true God. There is no righteousness in him. He's called the God of justice. He's not a partial God. There is no partiality in him. In not the same that my wife, because saying that my wife, uh, for your wrong, I will pardon you. Enter. And you, I don't know you, go away because you commit crime. If not a wife for me, the crime, now the children, now the same punishment. Before we continue, I want to give you a parable. Jesus teach in a parable. There was a certain king who made a decree. And he made a decree in the land that anyone who commits such crime, anyone, anyone, anybody at all, anybody is anybody now, who commits such crime, violating the law, will be sentenced to death by hanging. No mercy. In the time of old, it was like that. Anyone commits sin, be stoned to death. Jesus came to remove that body, that yoke, <laughs> away from us. Now it was that some of the people in the land violated the law, they committed a crime, and the punishment was given, hanged by death. The death sentence is by hanging. That was the punishment. It continues like that. But it came to a time that the only heir apparent to the throne, the son of the king, the only child, violated the same law. Hey. The same king who made the decree want to change his words. Remember the word of God say, wherever the words of a king is, there is power. And the most high God is the king of kings. So wherever the word of God is, there is power. That power is the Holy Spirit. No sin, not iniquity, no lie, no partiality, power. The king could not sleep. He was restless because the law has broke his neck now. My only son, the only child, the heir apparent to the throne, to be executed by hanging. Hey! The king cried out unto the night bitterly. Why did my son fall victim of such thing? Because king, you have already made a decree, you cannot change it. You have executed another people's children to set us them to death by hanging. Now it comes to your turn. How will you judge the case? Will you be partial in your judgment? Oh, you'll be fair in your judgment. It's only God that cannot be partial in judgment. The king tried to cover all by saying, I am the king. I am the one who made the decree. I am the one who made the law. So I see how the power to change the law. <laughs> the king make another decree. That law which have made has been canceled. It will no longer exist. Another new law will come soon. That is the law you all will obey. Because the king had many soldiers coming surrounding the king. Yeah, the word of a king means there is power. And there is a king that is greater than the king of this earth. When the king made that pronunciation, he proclaimed me that the Lord has changed to save his own boy. He doesn't want his own blood to be executed, or you executed other people's blood. For the Pasha king, human being. Now, Midnight, the king, the great lion, the divine of the lion, he appeared in the night and said to the king of this earth, I am the king of kings. Heaven is my throne. 
The earth you are dwelling in is my footstool. So you are sitting on my foot. How can you take the decree which you have made that passion your judgment? Tonight, your soul and that of your only soul will be required because you are partial in judgment. You want to save your own when you are key on that people's own. No, God does not work that way. The one you key is God who created them. Then your own and God created. But because say you just live with the woman, you're born and you don't want to fulfill your judgment. What happened? That night, God took the life of the king and the son. The kingdom of heaven is like this parable. No partiality, no mercy on the day of judgment. Mercy, not day for who don't die. Now, who they are alive, now he get access to mercy. Who don't die, not get access to mercy. This is how God works. He want men to fear him. Ecclesiastes 3, verse 14. He said, whatsoever God doeth shall be forever. Nothing can be added. Nothing can be removed. God don't eat. He doeth it. The man will fear him. He did it for man to fear him. No one can take God to court. There's an invisible God. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Yeah. Oh, no. So we are, we are silent. I will say, no, they fear, no fear man, fear God, not man. Fear only God. Yes. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Before we look at the proof to know uh, if I fear God. The proof to know if I fear God. Before we look at the proof, I want us to look at two scriptures, then we'll go into the proof. Second Corinthians 7, verse 1 to 4. The book of Second Corinthians chapter 7, verse 1 to 4. If you are there, please. Second Corinthians 7, verse 1, verse to, 1 to 4. Verse 1 to 4. Jesus' name. Amen. See, having therefore these promises, Dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all fitness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. Verse 2 Receive us. We have corrupted no man. We have corrupted no man. We have defrauded no man. Verse 3 I speak not this to condemn you, for I have said before that ye are in our heart to die and live with you. Verse for the last verse. Great is man boldness of speech towards you. I am with comfort. I am joyful in all our tribulations. Amen. Thank you so much, sir. Your device is so strong. Okay, let me read it again here. Second Corinthians 7, verse 1 to 4. I read from New King James Version. It said, Therefore, having these promises, beloved, let us cleanse our zest from all filthiness of the flesh and spirits. Which means, first, the dead thing for flesh, the dead thing for spirits as well. <laughs> Perfecting holiness in the fear of God. So if you think you are running the race of holiness and you not fear God, you never start. You never even start at all. You never start. No one can claim that I'm running the race of holiness without the fear of God. You are to perfect your holiness in the fear of the Lord your God. Verse 
verse 2. Open your hearts to us. We have wronged no one. We have corrupted no one. And now they preach my message. And now be antichrist. My message is about Christ being crucified. And nothing can change it. Because no one can pick a day to pick. That is what Jesus said to Saul. You cannot pick against me. The message of the cross. Not perfect holiness without the fear of God. And the fear of God, I go feel perfect your holiness, not the fear of man. If you fear man, in the absence of man, you will commit sin. But if you fear God, even in your secret place, you will refuse to commit that sin because you fear God. We will come to that. That is what Joseph did. Genesis 39. Nobody was there. He was alone with Potiphar's wife, one on one. He said, no, me, I fear God. Not be, you say, I fear your husband. But not God, I fear. I'm not going to do this evil. But I wish not the mind the fear. When the woman, no camera, nothing, nothing, who go report? He could just do this thing, go clean out. Collect the money in the groove. As many people, they do one for Europe. They do one for Africa too. All those big city. They sleep with rich man wife. Because they put money for your account. Say quickly do one, quickly do one. Repent fast. Otherwise, if you die, you will regret the money and you might be pretend. You're not going to follow you, go grieve. I wrong no one. We have corrupted no one. We have cheated no one. You see this online? I know they ask mercy for all free, for tight. No, I will never. What you need is the true message of Christ. I will deliver your soul from hell. Bribe, twist the truth. Gifts, they corrupt the truth. That is why you have to be mindful of the gifts you receive. But they receive gifts from you. You can't do what you wrong. For me to show you, go they had me, go they look. You can't favor when you don't, don't they give me before. Verse three, I do not say this to condemn anybody or to be against anybody. It's the word of God. For I have said this before, that you are in my heart to die together and to live together in Christ. Verse 4. Great is my boldness of speech toward you. Great is my boasting on your behalf. I am filled with comfort. I'm exceedingly joyful. In all our tribulation, when you stand for truth, me, I know, and I will rejoice on your behalf. I will boast on your behalf. Say that brother, that sister, no. A person will stand for truth. Fear God. Now, only who fear God, now they stand for truth. Do not fear God, you will deny truth. And anybody will deny truth, I've denied Christ. And anybody who have denied Christ, Christ has said, and we also deny him before my father in heaven. So which kingdom you want to enter when you deny the truth? You deny truth, you say they follow Christ, you deny truth. But you, you say you claim they follow Christ. You see ignorance? Ignorance is a great tool that Satan is using to destroy men. Ignorance is like a cancer. And every cure to ignorance is knowledge. Go for knowledge. Go for knowledge of God's word. The knowledge of God's word. Let no man hinder you from hearing the word of God. That will change your life. Jesus did not put chain in your neck. Say you must not hear any other preacher except him alone. 
it give everyone freedom, but do not use your freedom as a license for sin. That is just it. Do not use your freedom as your liberty as license to commit sin, to defraud, to do evil, to talk others down. No, that is not a kind of freedom. That is not Christ-like. And I pray that God will open our eyes of understanding to the truth. And that spirit of fear of men, that slavery, slavery of the fear of men instead of fear of God. If you study the, 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 the episode of Apostle Paul, he always used the word, I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus. <laughs> Who prisoner are you? Prisoner of man or prisoner of Christ? You go ask yourself this question. Am I prisoner of Christ or am I prisoner of man? If you are a prisoner of a man, man will not save you. Forget about heaven. But when you become a prisoner of Christ, the Savior, the one who died for you, then you will make heaven. How do you become prisoner of Christ? What did the word of God say may you do? Now you they do. The one where the word of God say may you don't do, you know the one. Even if man tell you, say, do this, let me be your boss, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the king make a decree, you must bow down to worship the body image. I said, no, oh king, you are not careful. You are not even mind to answer you in this matter. We know God we serve. Now he may know we fear. Even if he did not deliver us from your hand, no thing will make us to bend to your decree. Because your decree is against the word of God. I will never bear to it. Even if God refused to deliver me from your hand, O oh king, these are men that is full of the spirit of God, boldness. I will never fear fear. He refused. See fire, koro koro. Now some of us, when they fear, may go deny. Fire. The fire was hit several times than the normal way. The people who threw them into the fire, just the heat of the fire, roasted those people. <laughs> but the man who was thrown into the fire, not even their hair, not even their clothes. What a supernatural God, a mighty God. Why did God preserve them? Because they feared God alone. They did not fear man. They refused to deny God because the fear of God was in them. If you don't have the fear of God in you, you will deny Jesus. Don't God say you tie hair, kokoroko. You will deny Jesus because you don't have the fear of God in you. The fear that you have is the fear of man. So when trouble comes, when problem comes, you will deny that Jesus because the fear of him is not in you. That is why you are in church, you are still dressing naked. You dress naked like a prostitute, and you are being in church for 10 years, which means the pastor not they do well, not they preach the word of God well. Get problem, you have some get query to answer when Jesus will appear. And someone being in church, you even make her a worker, you even give her a position to tie the person in see more to more be more comfortable. 10 years, not the change. No transformation, no light, nothing, nothing. There is difference between I gather multitude and so winning. Not be say people gather for church, not be be so winning. This is this are revelation. We begin to obey them when time comes. Jesus said there is a joy in heaven over one soul that repents. More than ninety nine righteous men that need no repentance, which means if you are inside building, you never repent. Your soul, they never win. You just come on for sun, come on for cold, come on for rain, come, come, sit comfortable. They continue your sin. Your soul, they never win. Now, when you don't repent, uh -huh, heaven will rejoice. Yes, this soul has been won. Now, it be the problem in the body of Christ. Now, they say you can't come sit down. You become regular. You will be regular member. <laughs> regular member. You have become so familiar with the church, with Jesus. With the word of God, even if the pastor they preach, I know it before. You never, nothing has win you. They only invite you to the feast, and you don't get garments. <laughs> you come to the wedding, you don't get the uniform. Uh, you'll be kicked out. That is so winning. So who has been transformed, repented genuinely? 
pray God will help us in the name of Jesus. Prove to know that I fear God. Yesterday we mentioned one. We mentioned one proof to know that we fear God. The proof to know that I fear God is to keep God's commandments. Ecclesiastes 12 verse 13. Let's hear the conclusion of the whole matters. Say fear God and keep his commandments. So you when they claim say I fear God. I fear God. Are you keeping God's commandments? So if you are not keeping it, this Bible now is telling you that you don't get fear of God in you. And mouth now they make now lips. Now for the talker. The word of God says, speak no evil of another. And you they speak evil of another person. You they condemn another person for back. What they not do is they talk and say they do one. Where the fear of God in you? Once live with person's wife, you know they look back. Where the fear of God? You want cheat person, you know they look back. Where is the fear of God? But your mouth with the wrong pro 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 pro. I fear God more than any other thing. That's where's at it. Let's see it's the fear. So if you truly I fear God, I will keep his commandments. And we also look at Deuteronomy 5:29. Where God testifies, say, oh, that they have such a heart in them, that they will fear me and always keep all my commandments, that it might be well with them and with their children forever. So the proof to show that truly we fear God is keeping his commandments. As Jesus said, John 15, verse 14, if you love me, Keep my commandments. So don't claim in your mouth, say, I love Jesus, I fear Jesus, when you are not keeping the commandments. Number two proof to know if we fear God. Let's look at the book of Job. Job chapter 1, verse 1, then verse 8 to 12. Job chapter 1, verse 1, verse 8 to 12. Job 1, verse 1, verse 8 to 12. If you are there, please read for us. Job chapter 1, verse 1, verse 8 to 12. Amen. Amen. Job chapter 1, verse 1. See, there was a man in the land of Uz, whose name was Job, and that man was perfect and upright, and one that feared God, and so evil. Hold on, sir. Hold on first, before you go to uh, verse 8 to 12. You see the word there, a man that feared God, and show evil. This is God testifying about Job. So the proof that you fear God is for you to show evil and every appearance of evil. Don't say, don't be me, they do it, but you know they show the evil. You don't get care of God in you. When you get the care of God, you will show evil. Stop that wickedness. This is what God, God, the creator, testified about Job. He feared God and the proof that is fear him, that makes him blameless. He show evil. For you to show evil, it shows that you know they do evil. If I not go feel the show what you they do. Otherwise, the person will tell it to your face. I will tell him, he says, stop. What do you know say you they do? You tell him, say, man, not they do one for what? It will show you back. <laughs> Before you can show evil, it shows that you, you are not doing evil. But if you know they show evil, you know that fear God. You are just starting. This is the proof. Continue, sir, verse 8 to 12. Verse 8 to 12. And the Lord said unto Satan, Has thou considered my servant Job, that there is no in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that feareth God and eschewed evil? 
verse 9. Then Sita answered the Lord and said, Do I do fear God? Verse 10. As no that made an edge about him and about his house and about all that he had on every side, thou has blessed the work of his hand and his substance increasing in the land. Verse 11. Put the but put forth thy hand now and touch all that he had, and he will cause thee to thy face. Verse 12, the last verse. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, all that he had is in thy power. He said, Put not forth thy hand. So Satan will fought from the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, sir. Your network or your device, let me also read it out again. That Job 1 verse 8, now this is God speaking. He said, then the Lord said to Satan, have you considered my servant Job, that there is no like him on the earth, God boasting about mortal man now. Some of us, when they say it's not, it's not easy to be holy, Nobody is holy. Nobody is this. Nobody is that of earth. No holy man, no that, no this. But this is a man, Job, a mortal man, no, not be spirit, a mortal man. He get fresh and blood. Water, they run through his vein, like you and I. Now God boasted about him, brainless. So what makes you, what gives you that mentality? That is satanic mentality that will make you to continue to remain in an unholy life. We will refuse to press forward to attain holiness. That is the mentality of Satan. The Lord said to Satan, have you considered my servant Job that there is no one like him on earth? A man that is brainless and upright, one who fear God and shun evil. So if you claim you fear God, the proof, do you accommodate evil? Do you support evil? Do you encourage evil? Do you feel the move your eyes as if I don't see him? Is that your lifestyle? So if that your lifestyle is, you never fear God. Now, Matthew, think. One who show evil because he fear God. So Satan answered the Lord and said, Job, they fear you for nothing. If God, they carry, they fear you for like that. In order that they carry, they fear you like that. Have you not made a hedge around him? Around his household? Around all that he has on every side? You have blessed the work of his hand. Satan was not giving God the excuse. He's waiting to make the fear. <laughs> you bless the work of his hand. You give him many beauties and all blessings and all. His possession, you have increased it in the land. So if you get increased, now God increase now. Don't be your strength. But now, Satan, the brief suggestion now. Stretch out your hand and touch all that he has. And it will surely cause you to your face. In other words, it's not going to fear you again. May you try and remove all those things when you get, when you don't acquire. It's not going to get fear of you again. Now, because life day is sweet and comfortable, let me can fear you. What now happened with verse 12? And the Lord said to Satan, okay, if now that game we want to play, no problem. Huh? May you go, go test them. Before me, I, I boast of him. Now me create him so I know who he is. Is you go all the property where Job gets, I don't deliver that to your hand now, but do not lay hand on his person, don't touch him. No Africa, nothing, nothing. So Satan went out from the presence of the Lord. We know the story very well. One day, just one day, all that Job had. <laughs> oh, in one day, Satan swiped them away. He swept them away. It can't be like where they use bomb. They blow uh, the Russia, Ukraine. They use bomb, then they blow there. Where we say nothing remain. Oh, in one day. See yet. Job still fear God. Get that fear. Because the spirit of the fear of God is already in him. The spirit of the fear of God has been his existence already. Now the fear of the Lord may be breath. 
If you remove that fear, he could die. That is why Joe, oh, he still fear God. And that was not enough. Satan still say one push for that. Job chapter two, verse one to seven. Again, there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. This is Satan see the Satan for inside church. I don't they pretend fast. And Satan came also among them to present himself before the Lord. Okay, now they present to myself. Me too, I get it right. <laughs> and the Lord said to Satan, where are you they come from? You know, they they cast and bind Satan very well. Satan don't fell, he don't fell live with God, no. Hey, Lucifer. He don't fell live for heaven. I make, you know, one make children of God go there. Because you know as that place be. The German too full on. Satan said, answer the Lord. And they go up and down upon the earth. And they walk back and forth on the earth. And they search for who go miss the target. First, you want to disobey your word so that I will grab and put out for my cage. I don't cage, I don't cage, I don't go, feet, go anywhere again. Each time you disobey God, you have open gates for Satan to enter your, your, your life. And if you are not careful, you continue to disobey the word of God, Satan will not put you in his cage. God will remove the hedge uh, because you are the one who breaks the hedge. The Bible says that breaks the hedge, it shall be serpent. But and you forget to say Satan and serpent. Now he come in the, in the beginning. He came in the separate spirit form to deceive the first man and the woman. And God repeated it again. Job 2, verse 3. And the last said to Satan, have you considered my servant Job that there is none like him on the earth? The blameless and upright man, one who fears God, is shown evil, and he, he holds fast to his integrity. This is God boasting a bad mortal man. Still, he hold fast to his integrity. Although you incited me against him to destroy him without cause, he not commit any crime. You say you want to destroy him works, and I permit you. But yet, he still fear me. Now God was boasting him with that man. But Satan answered. <laughs> the answer God has said, skin for skin. Yes, all that a man has, he will give for his life. He say, if you are afflicted with sickness, affliction, he will deny you because he wants to save your life. He now not say the man, when he talk about it, already die. He now even care about the flesh again, about the soul. Job was living in the existence of the soul, but in the flesh. So if you didn't live in the flesh, you care about your life. Heaven too far. Job not care about your life. That is why they not deny Jesus. What did he do? But Satan, God said to him, okay, Satan stretch out your hand now and touch his bone and his flesh, and it will surely cause you to your face. This is Satan. Verse 6. And the Lord said to Satan, Behold, is your hand, but spare his life. When God did not permit Satan, Satan cannot take your life just like that. He will first of all seek permission from God. Even if you did commit sin, he will still seek permission from God. He will bring reasons. You see, as Satan, they bring reasons now to God. We bring reasons like this. <laughs> God, I don't work with you before. Now my disobedience, pride, now I make you cast me down out of heaven now. Okay, see this one now, see this one. Now you create me, now you create her. Though you create her in your image and your likeness, make it clearly present my position. But if they do pass waiting, I do when you cast me out. So you give me rights, man, tell sure, Pepe. If God not permit her, you're not going to do anything. But God permits it. He said, you can't do anything to refresh his bone, but his life, soul, not trying. So Satan went out for the presence of the Lord. He struck Job with pain, boys, from the sole of his foot to the crown of his head. He yet, Job refused. <laughs> Why? Because he feared God. Job feared God both in the spirit and in the flesh. If you only fear God in the flesh, not fear God in the spirit, you will deny him. You fear God in the flesh, and human being, you use that fear. When you go to your secret place, you will commit sin. When trouble comes, you will deny that Jesus because you don't fear him. 
You only fear the man when he preach to you. And Jesus has advised you and I, Matthew 10, 28, fear the one that can be able to kill your soul. Cast it to her. You go kill the body, kill the soul, cast it to her. Not be the one when you only kill the body, but your soul will be saved, will go to heaven. So God alone should be your, your dread. Zaya 8, verse 13. Let him alone be your dread, your fear. God alone. So that is number one proof. Do you show evil or you accommodate evil or you pet evil or you encourage evil? So if you fall in that category, you never get the fear of God in you. If you still encourage evil, or you remove your eyes, say, you know, see her. I know see her. I know see her. Instead, may you shun that evil. I know see her. You remove your eye. You never fear God. That fear of God is not yet in you. So heaven still far. Genesis 39, this one big way, way, from verse 7 to 23. We read it on your own. Genesis 39, from verse 7 to 23, talking about Joseph. Joseph before the Potiphar's wife. Joseph refused to do evil because he feared God. Nobody was there. Let me quickly read shortly. Genesis 39, verse 7. He said, It came to pass after these things that his master's wife cast loggy uh, eyes on Joseph. And she said, Joseph, come and lie with me. I will give you more money. The same way most of our youth they do now. You see that married woman when they sleep with. Because say, they give you, promise you money, promise you car, promise you house. Your leg is swift to the do that evil. Repent. Otherwise, you will regret your life. The money when you acquire the slave, say you the slave from a family way when you they get. And that person will inherit her. And that time your soul is already condemned. But if you can repent now, your soul will be saved. Joseph, come and lie with me. I will give you my money. Verse 8. But he refused and said to his master's wife, Look, my master does not know what is with me in the house. And he has committed all that he has to my hand. But you, he not commit you to my hand, though. My master, wife. Don't commit to my hand. Even if you commit everything to my hand, or you, no. He said, There is no one greater in this house than I. Nor has he kept back anything from me but you. Now only you. Now only you. I wish you said, Joseph, okay, my wife today, by law, Lord, they permit that kind, that dispensation. My wife, I don't give you, take. <laughs> he go take. But since he not give you to me, I'm not tired. He said, he did not give you to me because you are his wife. How dare can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? If you wait for that, the woman continue to press on Joseph daily, every day, every day, every day, every day. You know the story very well. But see it. Joseph refused. The word. I cannot do this great wickedness against God. He feared the Lord. But this is our generation. You quickly climb the woman. Because nobody did there. You go calculate the million when you want to transfer and put for your account. And you go come as my guy. Do not repent. That your smart guy will make you shed blood. Will make you shed blood. Your eye, instead of tears, it will be blood. Unless you repent fast. Don't call it smart. Don't call it enjoyment. It's destruction. Proverbs 14, verse 12. There is a way that sin rises unto a man. But the end of that way is death. Some people teach you now only physical death. The person, if you live in sin, you don't die spiritually. <laughs> this is your kind of body, not the go heaven. No. When trumpet will sound, when rapture will take place, this terrestrial body, earthly body, will return to the dust. If you still there alive, you never die on the day of judgment. If you still there alive on the day of rapture, you never die. 
this your body will be transformed to celestial body. And that celestial body, now the angel gets. You know, they old, you know, they die, you know, they grow young. Now, where they do? Fire, not the burner. Now, the body of Lucifer will be that one. That is why God created a great fire, prepared for Lucifer when he go to come in. And every agent of Lucifer will follow. So, why do you want to make yourself an, among agents of Lucifer? The time is short. Today, my being your day that your maker will say, Let come home. Don't try for it. I'll be old age, not be that till they go home. Huh? And the bump picking today, the next day you will hear say, Picking don't sleep, you don't wake up. Make her tell us, say, No one may you're so condemned. Come back home. You take them back. So make your way right fast now, not later, not tomorrow. Because you don't know what is ahead of you. To fear God, to shun evil, depart from evil. Ephesians 5, verse 8 to 12. The book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 8 to 12. This one, all of us just mute, 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 mute so everywhere. We'll give glory mm. to God. Praise okay, God. I will read. Hallelujah. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Ephesians 5. 5, verse 8 to 12. 8 to 12, I read in Jesus' name. Amen. For ye were something darkness, but now I hear light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. Verse 9. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. 10. Proving what is acceptable unto the law, verse 11, and have no fellowship with these unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them, verse 12, the last verse. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. Praise God. Amen. So let me read from New King James Version now. Thank you very much, sir. He said, for you were once darkness. There are still many people in church. Lights never shine in them. When you are still living in sin, you are still darkness. When you see accommodate sin, you are still darkness. You see evil, you cover and you conceal the evil. Instead of you expose her, you are still darkness. He said, you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Light is not a hide. Light is not a run away from darkness. Rather, from darkness, and they run away from light. If you use your room as an example, if night comes, of the light, everywhere go dark. Even if now, just small candle lights you own, it will shine forth. <laughs> In that presence of that small candle light, darkness will run away. So when you switch on the light, darkness will vanish. So why you won't be light from the room for darkness instead of darkness running from you? So your salvation is questionable. There is a question mark, which means there is something wrong in your salvation. Go and search. Examine yourself. If you still live under the slavery of the fear of man, examine your salvation. There is question mark about your salvation. The only fear that's supposed to dominate your heart, your mind, is the fear of the Lord. That fear is the beginning of you think you know the knowledge of God and you don't fear God, it means that is a long do. No, nothing without God. But when you fear God, that shows that you have wisdom of God. You have the knowledge of your maker. You were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. Now they pretend. Your action, your doing, does this show light? Or it shows darkness. I am living a holy life. I am practicing holiness and righteousness. Your practices, is it showing light or darkness? And some in your life, ask yourself this question before you will miss it. Because a lot of people will miss it because of the imagination of their heart, of their mind. That they imagine that they practice holiness and righteousness and their works and their works of darkness. 
but if they claim start the practice and but your work is a work of darkness, you want to go which kingdom? Not the kingdom of darkness, now you the work for. So you prepare for it. But be wise, know the truth. The Holy Scripture is able to open your eyes to the truth so that your soul will not be condemned. Walk as children of light, for the fruit of the spirit. If you the claim, say you got the Holy Spirit, examine that spirit when you the claim, say you got. Is it the true spirit of God or the wrong spirit? So preach other spirit, other doctrine, other Jesus. So the spirit, when you get, you go examine with your works, waiting they come out of you. When you do a secret, now you go take practice whether you get the spirit of God. In the time pass, go carry my before you they preach. After I preach, finish, you go use one woman step down for corner. But they speak in tongues now. I wish spirit to speak that tongues. I wish spirit to sleep with the woman will not be your own. Let's tell each other the truth here. Yeah. We want darkness. Now you come to light. You need a message that will tell you the truth about the light. So that you totally be free from darkness. The fact that you are inside building does not guarantee your freedom from darkness. Now, when the truth, the light has entered in you, and you begin to walk in that light, your fruits is one that shows if you are free from darkness. If your fruit is work of darkness, you are not yet free. You are still in the bondage of sin and death. Glory be to Jesus. Romans 8 verse 15. He said he has not given us the spirit of bondage to fear. But the spirit of adoption that we may cry out, Abba, Father, rescue my soul out of darkness. And you have set me in your marvelous light. Therefore, I will walk in the light. I will walk in the light of the law. All my doings will reflect the light of the law. All my actions will reflect the ways of Jesus. The word Christian came originally from people in Antioch, not a believer. There were no believer who named that word Christian. Now, unbeliever, now he named the word Christian, where everybody want, most people want, because they used to say they bribe people, now they do people. Say they make money, save fame, self center, self interest. Christian, now unbeliever, now he give that name. Not be believer, give the name. When they saw their works, their characters, their deeds, their ways, ah, we have never seen such kind of people in our life. Ah, look at the way they are doing things. The way their master was really doing things when he was on earth. These people, they are like Christ. They are Christian. That was how the world originally came. Christian. By your works, your action, your character. So what proof if you are a Christian or you are just a follow follow? Anywhere where belly face, now you the face. Anywhere belly go, now you face. And your face be. Your works, Christ like. These people are like Christ. Okay, they are Christians if they are from Christ. So if my character now they reflect the character of Christ, I've denied the faith, I've denied the truth. No heaven like that. Unless I repent, make my way right with the maker. You get the Holy Spirit. What are your fruits? You declare, say you get the Spirit of God in you. Where it be your fruit? Are you living in pretense? Do you live in lies? Hatred? Backbiting? Gossiping? Evidence? Jealousy? All this one are uh, sins of the spirit. Nobody they look at. Now the actual one mostly would they focus on. That sister not dressed well. That brother not dress dressed well. Let your outward reflect Jesus. Let your inward reflect Jesus. This is what makes you a Christian. Your outward reflect Jesus. Your inward reflect Jesus. You don't imagine evil. A true Christian has no imagination of evil. That imagination of evil, you know, then a true Christian, true, true believer, that jealousy spirit, oh, that the spirit of Cain is in the body of Christ, that spirit of Cain, the spirit of Lucifer, 
is operating in many of us in the body of Christ, a spirit of jealousy. She said, my brother, they increase. I don't tear, don't be jealous. Of. That is the spirit of Cain. Why God has said my brother, I will not said my own. Jealousy is there up. And God said, I see Cain, Cain. You see that your countenance has fair. Why? If you do well, I will have accept your gift. If you not do well, I will not accept your gift. But sin is crouching at your door. Sin, they knock your door. He said, make sure you master the sin. Don't allow sin to be your master. Rather be the master to the sin. Have rule over the sin. No sin ruling you. Cain, get who advise him. That, in that dispensation of Cain, even if you commit sin, you still hear from God. That dispensation. Because the word of God wasn't there. <laughs> now the word of God don't come. Commit sin and they expect may you hear from God. Whether you go here, you go, you go wait, may you hear tired. You go wait, wait, you go old. Because God has already given his word. He has given his teachers. He has given his apostles. He has given his prophets. He has given his evangelists. He has given pastors. To teach you, feed you with the knowledge of the truth. So don't expect to hear from God again when you believe in sin. The voice of God is already in his word. His word is his voice. What do you want here again? His word is his prophecy. Which prophecy you want? His word is his vision. If God show you anything in the dream, it will be aligned with his word. Anything that is contrary to God's word, and Lucifer give you that dream. You need to go and sleep again and tell Lucifer, this is your dream. I want to give it to you back. I don't need that. You dream. Your dream is not in line with what the word of God says. You tell and say, ah, now God give me the dream. Now God said, God give me the revelation. The Holy Spirit said, we will give account on the last day because the word of God is God. God cannot kick against his word. Where do you get the vision that is against the word of God? The fruit of the spirit is in all goodness. All. So you when they claim, say you got the Holy Spirit. Are you living a good life? Are you living a good life? The fruit of the spirit is in all goodness. I'll be evil. I'll be to plan to condemn other fellow. You want to destroy that fellow brother, that fellow sister image. And you want to protect your own. It is claim saying they run heavenly race. You go to sing. Heavenly race, I don't go tired. Heavenly race, I don't go tired. Heavenly race, I don't go tired. Oh, I don't go tired. You never enter the race. <laughs> <laughs> that was an imagination. Never enter the race. If you are not living a goodness in a good life, you never enter the race. And when you live good, that is when you have entered the race, the heavenly race. The fruit of the spirit is all goodness, righteousness. Even when they carry my before, they are you they commit sin and you they do that kind of thing. Where is the righteousness? And you're saying that the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is living sin. <laughs> Never. <laughs> this is our proof. The word of God is our standard. When you discover that, ah, you know, they live in the righteous life. And you they say, gada, gada, gada. It shows that you don't get the Holy Spirit. It's not a camouflage. The proof is here. The word of God is the proof. You don't need anybody to ask you, ah. Check whether I get the Holy Spirit. Oh, you the same make you check. You know whether I need to get. <laughs> Glory be to Jesus. Amen. From here, by God's grace, we go to enter midnight prayer. And not be forced. If your strength not be carrying, you exist. But if your strength carry on, you do it. Apostle Paul preached. Money tonight. But why are people against you preaching money tonight now? What's wrong with it? Why, why are you not there against the word of God when I support preach? But you they use the Bible. <laughs> the road to heaven is so narrow. Narrow. So narrow. So narrow. So narrow. So narrow. The fruit of the Spirit. It's truth. You they lie, lie, lie up and down. Lie has become your second identity. Even Lucifer, they fear you. 
The father of all liars, they fear your lie. If you lie, Lucifer go, hold your head. Now me burn this one. If they do pass me, Lucifer go, hold your head. Because the father of all liars. And you say you have the spirit of God. But you did lie, lie up and down. Lie like that. My father. Where is the spirit of God in you? The Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. Jesus says, when the spirit of truth shall come, he will teach you all your things. The spirit of truth. I respect you have the Holy Spirit. So lie not the finish for your lips. Lie not the finish for your mouth. Which spirit? Call they in you when they make you deny. A truth is one of the spirits, the fruits of the Holy Spirit. So if you they lie, 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 and yet you they tell us say you get the Holy Spirit. Where that lie for the come? Where for the come? Abi, empty form. If you press her, what thing will come out? Maybe we'll do experiments. Maybe I will carry foam now. Empty foam. You carry empty foam. You press them. Where you go come out? Please, if you are here, I can't believe. You carry empty foam. Empty foam. At least you get foam for house now. Foam when you take the wash or whatever. Carry the empty foam. Press them. Foam when dry, when not it day. You press them. Please, if you are here, respond. What will come out if you press empty foam? Nothing, sir. Okay, nothing. Okay. Now, if you dip it inside liquid, whether not water or whatever, whether not fuel or oil, if you dip it inside, then you now press it. What will come out? Is what is what you press, what you put it into. A bit. So now, as a human being, I they lie up and down, and I say I get the Holy Spirit. Now the Holy Spirit come to make me the lie. No, sir. Now, what did they inside me? Now, they come out. Yes, so. So, when you see somebody, they dress anyhow. They say it doesn't matter. Now, how they got the look. Now, what did they inside you? Now, they reflect. Mango, when not ripe, you know, they show, you know, they change color. Now, what did they inside you? Now, I make your color change. If they face eyelashes up or down. If they rejoice, say, eh? Now, beauty, yes. They may call for her fire now. But now, ignorance. But the word of God has come. Now, your eyelashes remove it. God not need them. If God need them, go check 60 years old man or uh, 70 years old man. Whether his eyelid a long past where he did. One tell God, say, God, they foolish. When he take, give and put on like that, we can't go borrow artificial from Marie Kidon. Can't go use guru. Add and join. Tell God, say, you are stupid. How can you give me small, small this thing when all they cover anything? You are a stupid God. You are a, you are, you are, you are a stupid potter. Me when we pray, I know pass you, understand pass you. Go and read Isaiah 29. You are a stupid potter. Then you can't go there and large. Add artificial. You can't go carry you call a human hair. Why you not leave your natural hair, the maintainer? If after 10 years, the hair not go grow past the human hair. The marry hair, when they put for hair, they call a human hair. You can't tell God, say, God, you dead stupid. You are, you, are, you are useless. You are my potter, but you are useless. You don't get wisdom. You don't get understanding. Why you go give me hair when you say, you know, reach my waist? Then you can't go add Lucifer own, artificial. You can't add a joint. You can't say, you want to make heaven? Heaven foul. <laughs> if far, but because of ignorance, that is why it's like that. You call the fish figure. Turn yourself to mommy water overnight. Turn yourself to mama mommy water picking overnight. The antigone, you want to make it long, tell God say to be foolish. Ah, God is wise. He get where your figure go long reach as human, human being. You go break. He <laughs> get where you go long reach, you go break. So you want to tell God, say, God, you're not wise. You are so foolish. They call the add artificial joint body. So they pump their breast. So they pump their button. So they pierce, pierce, pierce up and down. If God one day you use a ring or whatever, it go pull hole as if they burn you picking the come. It go pull hole. 
You get home for inside your finger. When you take a year, go there inside your nose. Now go put her. You don't make mistake. If you want to go pass out physics, go put her there. You don't make mistake. Now you can't tell God, say, you are foolish. Now my own, I ain't wise pass. I want a Lucifer brain. The fear of God has departed from you. You don't get fear of God. But yet, you stand upon the altar. They jump up and down. Way to heaven is so narrow. Where would they go far? We far. The word of God we are taking now is also far. We as God keep us alive. On Monday, we will continue again. By God's grace. Verse 10, let me finish Ephesians 5. Verse 10. He said, find out what is acceptable to the Lord. Find it out. So any preacher, when they restrict you, may you not study the word of God or hear from other preacher. The girl's secrets, when they cover, when no one may you know. Find it out. If today one place, I want to find out. Find it out. You must find out what is acceptable to the law. I made a cage many people for their church. So churches, they cage the people. Because now the people, now they make their fame. Now the people, they make their name the reign. If you allow the people to go, their name will spoil. Therefore, you go cage them. And on church day, you enter with your two legs. But to go out, you go be back to spiritual warfare <laughs> because you now you make my name if i let you go like that my name don't go down my money don't go so i don't go let you to go don't be like Pharaoh in the child the Pharaoh they allow the children of god to go but a mighty lord that is mightier than you cry meet Pharaoh when you allow the children of god to go that's a certain thing are you carry your two legs to end out? But to go out, you go fight battle before you go be combat. To find out what is acceptable before the law, you must find it out. Verse 11 I have no fellowship with the fruitful works of darkness. If you have the fear of God, you will not have fellowship with anything that is evil or fruitful work of darkness. But rather, you go expose them. Because of that one, they will fear you, they come. If you know our secret, then you go expose us again. Make we suffer cover our new show. Don't be the one where they lie. I'm not talking about the lie, lie, no. When you see evil, tell them, oh, this evil, when are they do? Enough of this evil. No, no, stop. Expose it. For it is shameful even to speak of those things which are done by them in secret. Shameful thing. Who will end here? End the message here. Jesus did not come by God's grace. On Monday, God permit God's will. We will continue. The Lord bless and increase us. Cause his face to shine upon us. May he be gracious unto us. Keep us in all the way in the name of Jesus. For those that is being online, you want to ask questions, contribution, please use the link to connect to Zoom. God bless you all.